Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul with a continuation of our regular playthrough. There's really not a whole lot left um, in this series. So we're going to go ahead and just get these last couple of videos done. This one and possibly one, maybe two more tops. So what are we facing here so far? Right now, as you might remember on our last video, we've been doing a lot of the settlers dealing with our new settlement. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue that. I'm going to show you a couple more things. We are going to get to a point with the settlement that we will basically indicate that you can continue to grow your settlement and add more things to it. Uh, and at some point, it will, that will come to an end. And all the, the only thing you're going to get is you're going to get the occasional visitor and occasional things that will cause you to upgrade your, your settlers uh, a little bit. And that's about all you're going to do. Um, there are a great many videos out there that people have done regarding focusing on strictly doing settlements. I might do that one day about finding the best settlement and how to get that upgraded to S-Class and the whole nine yards. But for now, this is just the basics of how the settler missions go. This will always remain in your secondary missions area. Always. Even when you're done with all, everything, you've grown it out to the maximum it can be, the settlers are still going to call you in once in a while and say, hey, we got an issue going on. Hey, we got a visitor here. Hey, we're being attacked by sentinels. And likely, since it's been so long since I've been there, about a week or so, um, likely they're going to be getting attacked by sentinels as soon as I arrive. So you always have to go with the preparation that you're probably going to be running into that when you get there. We're going to do a little bit of the base computer archives as well. Uh, we'll be dealing specifically with trying to get this to the to the end of its scheme. I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish it in the, uh, by the end of this video or not, but we'll see. And uh, as far as Freighter Command is concerned and going on expeditions, uh, things like that, honestly, it may not be something I'm going to do in this video. I may not do it in a regular playthrough. I may do a sp specific series on, hey, here's how you acquire a freighter, and here's how you build out your freighter. This is my scheme of building it out. A lot of people don't particularly like it that way. They like to have the narrow pathways and everything like that. I love an opened up view, as you have probably seen in several of my videos. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about this new Atlas path in here. This, I think, is a secondary Atlas series of missions that, acquire, that get you to a specific item in your inventory. Beyond the Remembrance, you're going to have an Atlas seed. The two of them interact with each other. So we'll do a special video on that. So I think we've done about 20 or so videos thus far. I think we're looking at maybe three, possibly four more videos. So let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to do the base archives first because we're right by the base computer right now. So rather than um, go to the settlers, we'll just go ahead and do this first. Now, they've changed these missions a little bit. It used to be you'd go here, you'd get your archive, it upgrade, it would tell you that there's a timer, and then you'd move on. And you come back after the timer and continue again. But now they seem to want you to learn languages. So let's see what happens here. Recover archive encrypted. Input recovery pass key to proceed. And you have to use a word that you've learned. So I'm going to try traveler. Not the right word. So let's try they. Nope. And the last one that we have here. Oh, we have silence now. Let's try silence. And you just have to keep going until you find the right word or you run out of words. It. it uh, and unlocked with it. Uh, automated archive recovery in progress. Data recovered 42% we're up to now. New data available. So we're going to search the archives first. The entry follows. The Sentinel drones. Patrols never seem to end. I claimed so much from the Earth. And that's it. Construction lots. Blueprints. What do we got? Multi-tool technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Efficient thruster plans restored. Okay, so that's for my Starship launcher. Okay, we just need a dihydrogen gel. You already got tritium, and we've got enough wiring looms on us to do that. Uh, begin to fabric check seven. Yep. Okay. So we should be able to build this first, and that's what it's asking us to do. Uh, we don't have anything up here, so we're going to go ahead and add it in. Kind of running out of room up there. We're going to go ahead and add these two parts in, but we do need to get the dihydrogen jelly. There we go. And we're complete. Now, once we have that installed, that particular part of the base archives are done. 
Now we can go straight back to the base computer rather than be on a timer now. But the thing is, is that we have to learn more words. Usually that's what happens. So we're going to go real. Didn't work. Weapon. And we're just going to keep choosing words. B. If. Never. Get that same stinking music. <clears throat> Absolute. Go figure. There we go. Our car, our, our car recovery in progress. Can't talk right now. And again, I'm just getting off over being sick, so please forgive me. Uh, voice is a little bit off today, a little bit of sniffly, but I'm, I'm on the recovery path. I'm exercising again, so I'm feeling pretty good, but still a lot of congestion. That's the way it works. Data recovered, 58%. Big jump. New data available. We're going to go straight to the archives. Entry follows. Having great success with advanced materials, able to blank, far more efficient synthesis. Uh, it seems I can create pathway to materials from all over the system. Additional data, blueprints, let's get them. Base technology data extracted, downloading plans, shield lattice. Uh, looks like it's for our exosuit. We need sodium nitrate and antimatter. And we're going to decrypt. Now we have to build this in order for it to continue on. Now I'm just going to do a quick run. And just see if we happen to have any, any NA plus nearby. We have plenty of NAs. I just want to see, because our mining tool should be able to take up anything. Got some NAs. All right. How much do we have in stock on our person? Ah, we got plenty of sodium. So let's go ahead and use our... I should have stayed in there. Personal refiner. To do this. Now, we have the medium refiner in there, but we don't need a whole lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. There we go. That way we don't burn it all out. Okay. And we need to do shield lattice on our person. So the shields are over here. Move you over. I'm going to build it right there. Oh, we need an antimatter. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and do that. There you are. Okay, and it's built. And it interacts perfectly with everything else over here, so we're in good shape. And we're done with that. Base computer archives, here we come. All right, let's go with the number three one, I think, this time. Delight. Capable. Fragments. All right, let's go A. That would have been funny if that were it. That wouldn't have been a very good password, right? Yet. Hey, I got it. Data recovered. We're at 61% now. Let's search the archives. Working fast. The fading sun. Set up camp in the foothills. Hardly luxury. But it keeps out the cold, and I'll be gone by morning anyway. Perhaps some other traveler will shelter here one day. Additional data. Blueprints. What are we getting? Base technology data. Base lighting plans restored. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know it gave that. That's pretty cool. So we got the light. All right, so let's take a look at those. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and defragment. Now it should give us to it, give it to us immediately in the next mission. But to give you a rough idea, so now we can go in here. We can actually create one and put it on the outside of this. And they don't require, if I'm not mistaken, any electricity. Let me just double check that. Nope, it does require electricity. How interesting. Let's go ahead and grab it. And where's our batteries at? Are they over on this side? Over on this side. Alright, well, we'll just connect over to this guy over here. Uh, let's see. There we go. And, you know, we got our wiring hiding thing, so we don't have to do it any neater. Oh, that's kind of nice. Kind of bright, man. I like it. I'm not going to do the other colors right now. But we now that we built one, let's go over... Continue the archives. Uh, pass key. Let's see. Brief. And I unlocked immediately. Go figure. Data recovered. 74. Search. 
saw another one of them today on the space station. They looked at me like I wasn't there, stared right through. It was just a geck when I returned, imagining things. So we're seeing other travelers. Additional data recovered, uh, available, pardon me, construction logs. Let's go ahead and get what we're gonna get. Uh, appearance modifier plans, how nice. Only requires 10 ferrite to make one of these, but we're gonna have to build it. So let's go ahead and leave this. So that is this. So now we can have our own personal appearance modifier. We're gonna go ahead and just put it right here. So we can literally go in here. Oh, we gotta provide power, my bad, I knew that. Duh. And we'll run it over here. Okay. And now we can change everything about us. Instead of having that uh, lovely uh, backpack that we've got right now, we can change over to a cloak if we wish. You notice that none of the others are available at this time, but I can go to the space station and lock them if I wish. Um, can also change the race, the body shape, etc., etc., the head, torso, it's, and all the colors I've got on me. Uh, so if I want to, I can go red or something like that. But I'm going to stick with blue for now. But anyway, recharge. Do that anytime you want. Nice to have it there. Uh, okay. As. Uh, with. <laughs> go figure. Archive recovery, 82%. Though I had hours to blank, but the daylight is already fading. The sun is slipping blank. The light barely penetrates the thick rings, looping endlessly. I should think it should be endlessly around us. I need to hurry. Okay, let's get our construction blueprints. Personal upgrade module. Okay, that didn't tell me what it was this time. Scanner module. Well, why not? Should be over here in our inventory. There we go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add it in. Why not? Uh, let's see. Wow, this is actually a pretty good multi-tool. I have three of them right there. Oh, technology overload. Okay. 2709 and 1029. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Don't need it. But that gives us supplies. Like this. Supplies. Anyway, that's not important. Ah, uh, boy, this really needs to be reorganized. I'll get to it later. All right, moving on to our base computer archives. We've spent literally 12 minutes, 10 minutes going through this. Let's see if we can get this done. Clarity. Yeah, that's clarity, right? 98%. We're getting to the end. Time has come to move on. Something is calling me. I can blank on my starship computer communicator, plotting route to the center. I'm guessing center of the galaxy. Log lost. Ooh, so we might be really at the end of all this. Personal upgrade module. And de next segment, but it's going to be very interesting. So we've got another scanner module. We already know that we can't put it in here, and it's not going to be any better than we've got. So I'm just going to do it real quick, and we're just going to go ahead and... Get rid of it real quick. Okay. Archives. What do we got? Oh. Hold on. Okay. Just had to wait for it to catch up to us. Alright. So, this is where you get to the very end. Archive for user. Available. Possible remote terminus backup available. Download coordinates. I'm going to do this one time. Every single time you come back to this, you will get this. And you have to follow the coordinates and find out what happened. So we are at the end of that. So let's go ahead and do that, I guess, real quick. Interstellar coordinates acquired. So it's going to be out of the system. And then we'll get over to our settlement and see what's going on over there. Oh. Bird strike. Bird strike. Alrighty. Where does it lead us? Uh, let's see. 
what we're looking for, you'll notice that your computer archives, they have like, like the base has a diamond shape with what looks like a little R2-D2 in the middle of it, right? Um, but you'll notice that there's one at Ritamu Lepi, uh, all the way at the top there. Well, it looks like a green star. I don't even know if I can go there yet. But uh, it's also got a slightly yellowish or orange outline to it rather than white. So that tells you where you're supposed to be going. It looks like I have the right drive to get there, so I shouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, okay, relax system, GEC. It's a two-star system, corrupt archive data. Okay, so that's where we're going. And we have to hold it down. There we go. On our way. All right, so looks like our computer archives are pretty much done. It will never, I've never seen it get to 100% personally. Um, but basically you can keep doing this once in a while and you get sometimes a little bit more tidbit of information and sometimes it gives you an upgrade like I've been getting. C class, occasional B class. I haven't seen any better upgrades than that. First contact. First contact. Spock. Anyway, I shouldn't say that. Ooh. I'm getting some communication here. What? Uh, pathetic interloper challenge to Vikeen. Cut off before the message can be completed. Planetary settlement of which I am the... Oh, is a citizen of the planetary settlement of which I am the overseer. They are clearly in great distress. So they're asking me to head over there. Alright, so they got a Sentinel attack going on there. But we'll get to there in a minute. So there's the space station. And we will respond to the settlers, but hey, um, let's get this done. Where is my... I'm scanning just to see if I come across something. Oh, interesting. The Lost Watchman. Ooh, I know what that is. Well, I guess we found out, and I'm sure you listened to the beginning of the video, and you're like, uh, well, the name of the video is, you know, interesting, Paul. Uh, how come you don't know? Well, because obviously when I recorded it, I didn't know I was going to be getting this mission. Very cool. All right, uh, remote archive terminal. We're going to go ahead and visit this first, because I really don't feel like coming back. There we are. On our way. Scan the planet, see what we're dealing with. Aggressive Sentinels. Ah, this ought to be fun. And it's an incandescent planet. So it's gonna be hot. Hence the you know the items on it. You got selenium and phosphorus. New object. I'll take a look. Whoa. Pirate controlled monitoring station. Does that mean we're about to get attacked? We're going to fight off some pirates. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. We have a strong enough ship to take them on very easily. Come on, get out of the way if you're shooting you and your shields, my trusty little pilot. Little pilot, whatever you want to call yourself. Alright, we're done. Well, that's nice. Isn't that special? Yeah, fan of the old Saturday Night Live back in the days. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. We've got a quad servo from one of those guys before. That's very interesting. All right. Approximate location. So we're going to come down a little bit early. Slow it down just a touch. Let's do a quick scan. All right, so we got a couple settlements right there. Looks like an abandoned settlement. I'm not getting a landing platform over there. What about this one? That's nothing more than a camp. I'm thinking it's over here. Take a peek. Now remember, we're going to have gravitational balls everywhere. We're going to have sentinels everywhere. So we want to do it really, really, really fast. Okay, let's go. Let's 
good place to build an extreme sentinel planet base. Hmm, life support shop. Very nice. Alright. Uh, looks like I've got a tentacle back there. Take it. Alright, while we're at it, we're going to get our... Standing increased. Good. Okay. Turn on some lights so we can see around here. This looks like a... Yep, get a word of the day. The. Fantastic. I learned the word. Alright, let's see what we got. I've reached the location marked by my base computer. The remote active... Let's try that again in English. The remote archive of Terminus hums, awaiting my input. Access to memory. Attempting to read memory at... We sought an escape from reality. That's why we're all here, isn't it? Hmm. Indeed. I can remember what it was like to be a traveler. To have that hope. That intolerable thirst for the new. I should never have listened to you, my love. There is no fire in this place. No trophies fit for gods. There is only darkness. The family of glass. They watch everything. I searched a physical cache attached to the terminal. Whoever recorded this message also left a piece of technology. A mining beam module. Oh, nice. I don't think I really need it. Let me just double check here. Uh, mining beam. Uh, I've got some decent mining beam modules on here already. Um, yeah, we'll check it out real quick. Get you out of the way. Let's see what it gives us. Plus 6, plus 20, and a minus 11 overheat. That's even better. Minus 25 overheat. But this also gives us additional things, too. So even though that's a minus 25, it also gives us the plenty, plus 20 heat dispersion and a plus 6 minus uh, mining speed. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this. And I'm going to move you over here, I believe. Okay. All right, just for the sake of putting it in some place. Still haven't gotten the base all time. Huh? Should really do that. I keep saying that. I think every single episode for the last 20 episodes, I need to find some base all. All right. Let's go ahead and check out this unit here. Oh, we got nanites out of it immediately. Have I been here? No, I couldn't have been here. Come on. Shoot. Alright. Now that I've gone far enough. Alright. Where's my ship? There it is. Alright. Escape that son of a gun. Alright, so we are done with that area of this, so we're going to head over to our settlement now. Now, probably the easiest way. I could uh, hyperspace back to my system and fly there, but I'm going to hit the space station so I can make this a place I can visit anytime I wish. Possibly setting up that aggressive sentinel base on that planet, too, to get nanites, because that's always something you're going to need. One of these days, I will find myself a planet that has basalt on it, or basalt as I like to call it. Get that one unit updated. Installed? Yeah, I guess installed would be the right word. Alright. Whoop, we're upside down, okay. Okay. Well, we're going to go back there in a minute, but we're going to hit this. So we're going to do Trace of Metal. This should not take long. We're 20, 22 minutes, if you will. We're 25 minutes into the video right now. I like to make these last about an hour. And I think at this point what we're going to do is we're going to get our... We're going to get a companion is what we're going to get. And it's not a pet. So I'll show you how to do the Trace of Metal. Trace of Metal. 
Okay, let's get to my terminus. And we're gonna go to the settlement. And I should have checked to make sure my weapon was ready. Oh well. It'll just take an extra second or two. Hydration is important. Any moment. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And if she get the alert almost instantaneously. Full spitter. And where are they? One down. Well, they got healers? That's new. Where's the other one? Oh, there you are. Oh, holy crap, what in the world? That's a first. What is he doing here? That's really weird. Okay, I didn't know that was part of this. Oh, no wonder they were panicked. I'd be panicked too. Receive the anomalous broadcast. Alright, let's head in here and find out what's going on. Anomalous broadcast, override frequency detected, iteration tethys. I'll just listen. Okay, it says at the bottom here. Let's go over that. This terminal is fascinating. It's recorded all sorts of data about you and these settlers. I can see they've been... <clears throat> well, that is not the point. I have shut down your little major nomo for now. Robots cannot be trusted. Not with what I have to tell you. Okay, so it says settlement major nomo disabled... Unable to advise. Let's listen. Anyone with their eyes open could see a sentinel spike of that magnitude, even if they weren't spying on you. What happened? Did they leave any interesting tidbits behind? See what you can find, then come to the anomaly. I have more. I, I have to know more. Still unable to advise. So, let's just. Uh, we're going to signal the agreement. To signal our agreement to this, because I know exactly what's going on. Now I'm going to take another look in here just to make certain there's no pending decisions. Our status is... Yeah, they're really unhappy. 10% um, happiness, 20 citizens. we got a lot of problems here, but as we build up, it should get better. I promise. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit here. And look, there happens to be another barrel over here. Undamaged drone shell. Interesting, huh? And the other ones that I supposedly didn't catch, didn't uh, pick up, right? And I know for a fact I picked up every one of them. So I get some nanites out of that, that's good. Let me just take a look around, because... Like that, combat supplies. Just make sure there's no others anywhere. Okay. So... We're gonna get for that one real quick. Alrighty. Done. Ah, do we have any buildings being built? I think we're done with all the buildings at the moment. Pretty certain. Been a while, but step back to the settlement here. Alright. Uh, we gotta go to the space anomaly, so let's head up there. The planet doesn't seem to be terrible. I mean, it's a hot planet and all like that. And I don't mind a hot or cold planets either way, so... Those toxic ones, I don't know. For some reason, the toxic or radioactive ones, I'm not particularly keen on. Anomaly, here we come. And I think I might have multiplayer turned on, but I'm not too, too worried about it. It's not going to cause me any issues here. A little more hydration.
And we're down. Okay. Oh, you know what? No, I do remember turning multiplayer off at one point. We do something else. We got the weekend mission in here, and I already did that particular mission on my regular save. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much here. Oh, wait a second. We're going to the wrong one. We need to go over here. Oop. Wink. This doorway. This here is Tethys. Tethys scans the room, their narrow eyes darting rapidly back and forth. After a slight hesitation, they erupt in a flurry of excitement. Deceit! Imposters! Betrayal! Suspicion! They have eyes everywhere, Traveler. Eyes everywhere. But I am not without my own methods. My network sees much of its own. But first, tell me in your own words exactly what happened at your settlement. So we describe the new sentinels. Hmm. They have never shown mercy to those who try to build on planets. It is a constant. But this is new, unexpected. We must learn more. Reveal the recovered drone shell. Tethys holds the drone in their hands, gently turning it over and over with a softness I had not anticipated. Forgive me, Traveler. They have chased me for so long, but I have never seen one so close. Perhaps this one is our key. I could restore it, remap its mind, our own link to their infernal hive. Yes, yes, it would only take a few more, few new components. I shall begin at once. See what you can source from the others. So we'll leave. Now, this particular mission, Trace of Metal, started with the Sentinel update about a year ago. So we're going to go ahead and complete this real fast. So we need to speak to others. So it says, speak to other traveler iterations inhabiting the anomaly. And it gives us a couple spots to go. So obviously we want to go down there. We're going to speak to somebody. Let's go ahead down there real quick. Actually, I think that is the uh, Quicksilver location. But that's okay. Let's speak to these buddies over here. Gemini and Hesperus, is it? Yes. Gemini nods thoughtless, thoughtfully, seemingly lost in some strange calculation. We're going to reel Tethys' plan. Tethys is doing what a set doing what to a sentinel drone? My friend, this is madness. The robots are not our friends. Explain the drone may be rescued. My eyes long for beauty, traveler, but these sentinels are unthinking parasites tearing down anything that may elevate us. But, but, you are, I suppose, building something new, taking that cursed shell and constructing something better. I will help you, but please keep safe. Take my nanite filament, that your drone may remember me when it awakens. We leave, and we get a nanite filament. Let's go to Hesperus and see what he has to say. Hesperus smiles, happy to see me. Reveal Tethy's plan. Oh, kindred, be careful. Even with the best of intentions, we can make such mistakes. The blood of sentinels, it brings only lies. Does Polo know what you are doing? It would be both considerate and wise to let them know. Okay, so he's not going to help us directly. So we're going to go ahead and go to Polo and talk to him about it. I figured that that would be the case. Now, it says I should be talking to this guy first. Let's go ahead and talk to him, because that'll be the, th the second guy that we need to speak to. Iteration Mercury. Do we find you well, portal adept? Explained Tethy's plan. These drones are not the malicious force some imagine them to be, portal adept. I believe the Sentinels to be a vital, life-preserving function of the cosmos. I am heartened that Tethy's begins to see sense. I will gift you this... Wow, really? Phylactery? It holds a whisper of the ether that flows between, uh, pardon me, within the portals. Tethys will understand how to make use of it. Yeah, phylactery kind of threw me off there. Sorry. The portal phylactery. I almost want to stop for a moment and actually Google the word and see what in the world it means. I mean, I'm fascinated by the language and everything like that and new words, but good grief. Let me just see what Polo has to say. You are building something, friend. Yes, I recognize it in you. Explain about the drone. You are brave, traveler friend. You have always been brave. You may tame your little robot. You may not, but it will always be made of glass. It cannot exist in our home. Take these beads. Yes, it will help you. It will help to bind them to you. 
you will be a good robot master. Okay, so we got beads of glass. And we do have one other person to visit, and I think we're just going right back to Tethys. I, yeah, yeah, we're going back to Tethys. Okay. Let's head over here, talk to Tethys about it again. Tethys is deep in thought. They fix me with an inquiring stare. Hand over the components. This handful of junk is what you gave you? No help at all. Ah, uh, well, I can make it work. Tethys takes the damaged sentinel shell and my components. With them, the strange metallic being is reconstructed. Just let me... Here. Nearly... Aha! It's alive! Oh, I, I'm just picturing... Yeah. Every Frankenstein movie you probably have ever seen. Uh, of course, in my case, it's uh, young It's young Frankenstein. Yeah. Gotta have Gene Wilder, black and white. Marty Feldman. Probably the best... Best... One of the best movies of the 20th century. I guarantee you, if you've never seen it, absolutely fascinating, tongue-in-cheek comedy at its greatest. What probably, probably one of Mel Brooks' best movies he's ever made, in my humble opinion, of course. Uh, love all of his movies, of course. You know, uh, Spaceballs and uh, you know Robin Hood Men in Tights, etc., etc. But absolutely, Young Frankenstein is one of those movies that is almost a must-see for everybody. Matter of fact, we had hired some people at my last company, that uh, at my current company, a while back, and we insisted that they watch that and Office Space. That those two movies were a necessary uh, means of getting by at work, because we quoted a whole bunch of stuff from both those movies. But anyway, moving along. I digress. It's alive, or I'm fairly confident it would be, if it weren't for Polo's suppression fields. Its system readout just keeps repeating the word, glass. You'll have to take it away from here for a field test. Leave. Traveler. Take care of it, won't you? So he's giving us a warning. This is the Sentinel Flare, and it's currently off. Now we can't turn it on in here, so we're going to select it when we uh, open it up in our inventory, and uh, we'll see what happens. So we're going to field test it. Whee! Come on, all the way down. And let's head out of here. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and head out of here. Okay, I can do other stuff in here later. Alrighty. <clears throat> now, we're still in that other system right now, I believe. So... I really don't feel like landing back on this planet. But it says high sentinel activity at this point. So it changed it. A weird... Oh, this is my planetary settlement. My bad. Let's just head down there. Lost it there, folks. Sorry. Yeah, I just love listening to all those ships plowing into the... Uh, plowing in through space with all the sound and everything like that that shouldn't be present because there's no oxygen, but whatever. I digress again. All right. Landy dandy. Here we go. Looks like it's almost daylight. So, let's go over here. Here it is. I'm going to move it just to get it out of the way. I want to put it someplace where I'll have access to it. And there it is. Let's talk with it. Vault detected. Reverting. Poor cognitive functions available. Higher processing disabled. Z fix of the glass, 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 and just got just repeating. Input required. Select restart routine. So we purge the memory, default, defragment the file system, or flush the cache. I want to purge the memory. Memory access denied. Okay, update signal required. Sentinel pillar node detected. Coordinates locked of awaiting networking proximity. So let's download those coordinates. Okay. I guess we're going to go someplace. And it looks like it's over here. It shouldn't be very far. There never you are, usually are. Uh, let's see. How far? Yeah, 20 seconds. Yeah, we'll just uh, fly straight. Or as straight as we can, right? And 
incoming. Uh, we're in approximate location, so we've got to look. Ah, here it is. Uh, I think I'll land right here. This looks like a good spot. We'll break some rocks in the process. No, huh? Let's see what happens. That's just going crazy with glass. Alright. Guess let's head over. Uh, check the terminal, maybe? Uh, control control its operation, abandoning node archive, secure, leave. Alright, so we gotta break this down. We're in a security alert. Alright, so I think we are going to be fighting. Let's just see if this guy starts attacking, I'm curious. No, he doesn't. So we just, we really have to take it down. So we got to take out these three nodes. Right? And we're going to get attacked when we do it. Okay, they're ready. Now we could fight it all the way out, if we wanted to. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's head over here. And reinforcements normally will arrive, so we're going to try to stop that right now. Okay. My exosuit begins integrating... Integrating. That was pretty good. Integrating directly with the terminal. It's AI flooding with data. I see flashes of schematics, glass structures, language files. Should we stop it or permit it? Let's permit it. My exosuit completes its valuable work, though I am unsure what exactly it was attempting to do. Word slash before on the hive's terminal, suddenly legible. Archive status open access. Download hard frame blueprints. Let's confirm the download. The terminal transfers data to my exosuit. A, sent a set of Sentinel hard frame schematics. I feel a great sense of relief. Ooh. Isn't that special? You know what this is for. You probably don't yet. It's for the Minotaur. That's right. So we get our Exocraft Exos summoning station now and our Minotaur Geobay. Awesomeness. Suddenly I hear an alarm begin to sound. New words swim forth upon the screen. Local anomaly de detected. Category... Drone imposter. Attempt network reconstitution. Initiate remote memory purge. Restoration packet broadcast awaiting remote response. The terminal attempts to broadcast data to the sentry, but something is wrong. I hear the voice of my exosuit, but none of the words make sense. The terminal screams noiselessly. The screen flashes to black. Leave. Okay, so we got it. The Exosuit intercepted a delete signal from the Sentinel Pillar and s inspect the reconstructed drone with E to check for damage. I just want to check something real quick. Okay. Manifesting Personality Protocol Voice of the Hive. We awoke to a song chanted on a thousand frequencies. Behold the drones of the Hive, the walkers, the ships. Ew! Behold the angels of glass come from their heaven. Their work is the completion of all things of life of worlds. So the Corvax worshipped, so they prayed. Return to main controls. Okay, boundary note exposed. This should give us an opportunity to also extract weapons technology. Let's check it real quick and see what they got. Ah, lame. We're going to decline, decline that. And we're going to go ahead and shut down all Sentinel forces anyway. Atlas manifest offline. Immediate shutdown required. See, they're all done. Okay, it's vulnerable, and now we're going to go ahead and leave. All right, so that's what I was intending to do. So you see, here's our little guy, our little buddy here, who's going to become our friend. Now, one thing that's going to happen, too, is now we're going to be upgrading um, our Minotaur. Um, pleasant surprise in regards to that, because the Minotaur, while we can get inside and walk around and do all kinds of neat stuff, it's also going to get its own AI. So it can be also become a companion at the same time. So this is pretty cool stuff. 
Uh, program deployed the sentry. Vocalization established. Initializing traveler. Ideolect? Ideolect? Unbelievable. I'm usually good. Trust me, folks. I can usually pronounce things, but this is uh, really interesting. Greetings. Hello. Hi. It should be more... Mechanical. Greetings. Hello. Hi. Something like that. So we give a friendly, friendly greeting. The Sentinel is delighted. It has never said hello before. You wear a mechanical suit, living clothes with a voice. Yes. Must upgrade hard frame. Suit. Synonym. Minotaur. Yes. Now you wear them. We're gonna leave. Go. Go. Good. Goodbye. Okay. So. I think we need to get home to our main base. So we're going to do that, I think, next here. Alrighty. I think that's what we need to do. So let's head out. Now, the Sentinel forces on that planet have been disabled, but... Let me just check something real quick. I don't recall. Alright. Not finding my base. So, not too, too worried about it. But I want to be able to build all this on my main planet. So, we're going to do that. We're just going to jet over there with the uh, portal here. And then we'll build up the Minotaur. So it's pretty cool having it follow you around, but the problem is, is that it just it stomps around, makes a lot of noise. Um, that's the only drawback to having it that way. So I usually keep enough supplies on it so that I can disable and, and, and re-enable the AI when I feel like it. Um, you'll see a lot of my battles that I do with Sentinels on my regular playthrough, I do with... Um, pardon me. I do with uh, out, without either one of these two guys. So you will not have your little Sentinel drone, and you'll never see me with my Minotaur AI floating around in the background. They just take too much away from it. They, they don't do enough damage to really make it worth my time and, and worth my while. So I'm easy, I, I can get easily distracted. Sometimes I've taken, taken out my own Sentinel drone by accident because he just simply got in the way. And I couldn't distinguish him between those that were attacking and him. So... I prefer not to do that. Anyway, so as you know, we have all of our things over here. So we're going to make our... Uh, let's see. Not sure where we find it. Is it under power? No. I'll find it. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, it's a buildable technology, and I'm not sure why we were given the technology. I just got to figure out where we put it. Oh, wait a minute. It's over here, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, the Exoscrest Summoning Station. We need uranium, tritium, and an unstable plaza. We happen to have all three, so let's go ahead and build this guy. And we're going to put it right next to my landing pad. Okay. So, now we can summon Exocraft anywhere we want. Pretty much what that's what that means. Next thing we need to do is we need to build a Minotaur. Uh, we need five metal plates, four ion batteries, and we have the gold already. So five metal plates and four ion batteries. Let's go ahead and do that. Five metal plates. And four of these. There we go. And we're going to build the Minotaur Geobay. I want to kind of keep these on this little semicircular pattern going on, so we'll put him over here. Love it. In case you haven't used a Minotaur, these are really cool. Um, to give you a rough idea of what's inside, uh, you got your Daedalus engine, you have, of course, shields, a control unit, if you will, and you have your booster. 
and they obviously want us to build a hard frame arm. So I need a hydraulic wiring to build that. Not sure if that's something I can make in here. If I have the technology to build it, yeah, I do. I need two carbon nano. No, that's good. There we go. Nano tubes. Let's make those. There we go. And now we should be able to make it. So you're looking at it, it has these orange arms on it. So this is going to turn one arm blue and give us an extra weapon. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, stick it there for now. So to give you a rough idea of what this can do, it goes at a pretty good clip. You can't run in it. This is the fastest it goes, but one thing you can do is when you jump and hold down. And the best part is, is you can jump down a cliff and never get hurt. So this, sh this shoots stun grenades, if you will. It's a stun cannon. I don't think there's any other weapons on here but the stun cannon at the moment, so... Kind of pretty cool, I have to admit. So when you're on a really nasty planet and you just feel like protecting yourself a little bit more, it's a good guy to have. I mean, you know, it's almost avatarish at this point, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, so we got the Exocrash Summoning Station, which can be carried and redeployed anywhere we want. We can summon things anywhere. Now, at some point or another, you will have your um, freighter, and you can install a summoning station on your freighter itself. So therefore, you can you can summon your exocraft anywhere in the universe. So, really handy to do that. Anyway, moving along. Uh, what's the next item in our list? Oh, okay. Looks like we have another item that we can install. No? No. Hmm doesn't seem to be recognizing the fact that I have that installed yet. Alright, let's pick up the summoning station. I'm just curious as to whether that's holding... ...causing us an issue. Ah, there we go. That's what we had to do. Alright, buddy. Where are you? So we have to talk to the Sentinel. Yes. Minotaur, yes. Good. Affirm. Good. Oh, I'm doing that wrong, and I... Oh. Okay. Oh, bad. Bad negative. The hive has disrupted your settlement. The settlers are fragmented. See them. Come with you. Okay, so I need to return to the settlement. Alright, so do we have our pulse spitter going? Yes, we do. Just in case we're fighting something again. Um, yeah, some reason my base lost power again. I really gotta work on the power issues around here. Let's put some condensed in there. Oh, we need even more power. Hang on just a second. I want to take care of this problem real quick. I mean, we got the others, and it should not have lost power at this point. I don't know why this keeps happening. But it's something I'll have to look at at another episode and determine for myself. There we go. Okay. That should get the batteries charging. Because for some reason, even though I have multiple batteries, they just deplete really, really, really fast. So, I'll go ahead and just hook another one up just to play it safe. Alright. Let's go to our settlement. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. 
a lot of resources used up today. And it looks like we're kind of coming to the end of our first hour. Not sure how much longer I want to go past that hour if this is going to take a little bit longer. I just don't quite remember. If it does, we'll go a little further, I think. Okay, back at the settlement. No alerts. And there's our sentry. Okay, we got to go to the administration. Uh, ah, over there. Okay. Administration terminal, it's called. Uh, answer citizens' questions about the sentry. Oh, interesting. Citizens have grown curious. They note the sudden and dramatic appearance of the sentinel hard frames and that the overseer appears to be accompanied by a rogue drone. We have to reassure them. I'm not going to demand obedience. The citizens are pleased by your words. They have lived in fear of the sentinels for their entire lives and now hope for peace. They wish to assist you in your search for answers and have prepared an expedition. Do we go to an abandoned building or to a monolith? Interesting. Ah, well, we found our first answers in an abandoned build. But if we go to the abandoned building, we all know that there's whispering eggs around it. I have a funny feeling they'll get attacked. Let's do the monolith. I saw that shake of the head at the end. I hope that's not meaning something here. Um... Okay. Guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see. That's my door? That's my door. Sentry broadcast. Uh, uh, sentry's broadcasting a weak vocalization signal. Inspect your drone. It is over there by my ship, it looks like. Oh, here it is. Okay. Ooh, vocalization. Bad help me you go there their place except the coordinate data the drone transmits a set of numbers to my exosuit they do appear to be valid coordinates okie dokie where to uh outside local systems we gotta go to literally another galaxy again well another planetary system off we go Where are we going? Going back to that same place we went to before. How interesting. This is where we got our computer archives from. Okay. Well, why not? Alright. Where to? Uh, there we go. That's back at that terrible planet we don't feel like going to on a regular basis, but hey, we'll go there again. Why not? Almost getting to the point where I want to just create a base anyway. Not yet. No, we're not doing that this time. Again, we'll come down a little early. Huh. Proximate, huh? I think we found the place we're going. And we'll use the landing pad.
Oh, great. It's one of these places. Let's do some stuff while we're here. Okay. Now they can't see me inside, so we're in good shape that way. Though I have a funny feeling they're all going to be popping in here soon and joining me. Facility stat status. Intrusion detected. Production paused, awaiting restart authorization. The factory's terminal looks like any other. Another anonymous facility. Another meaningless screen of data. But the numbers that scroll past call out to me. I find my hand upon the panel. A needle extends from the glove of my suit. I did not know I had a needle in my suit. I did not move my arm. I'm going to give in. I surrender to my exosuit. I am a statue, a powerless witness to whatever it is tempting. Wave after wave of numbers fill the terminal screen, patterns swirling as my exosuit communes with the data. At last, it hails upon a prompt. I understand. Glass archive breached. Boundary status open. Download hard frame blueprints? Oh, yeah. Confirm that. The factory is a portal, an anonymous node no more. Through, the, through this window, my exosuit retrieves another set of Sentinel hard frame schematics from whatever world of data lies beneath. Nice. There was no need to feel afraid. Okay, so we get our secondary part. We get the left arm. Okie dokie. Uh, additional ent entity registered Laylapse, the Sentry Deactivated Unit 4927G. Neural upgrade noted available. Proceed. Transmit. Neural upgrade packet broadcast awaiting remote response. Okay, that means our guy has a name now. Uh, can we interact with it still? No? Okay. So we gotta head to the ship fast. Where's my ship? It's over there. Okay. Okay, so I have to install it. Okay. I'm not going to call him down to this planet. That's just going to, that's just asking for a very, very messy uh, 10 minutes worth of fighting. So where to? You know what? Let's just scan the system real fast. That planet looks interesting. Mutated planet. Interesting is the right word. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to call in our Minotaur on this planet here. I'm tired of checking out all these space signals that are detected. And that's what I thought. He's gone. Take me just a moment to get to the surface. And of course we've got a storm going on right now. I think I better pull up. Whoa, okay, glad I did. Let's see what this building is. Oh, we got some shelters there. Let's go ahead and... I was going to say crash here, but that's not exactly what I feel like doing, is crashing, so... Alright. So first thing we need to do... Let's put this down. And then what we should be able to do is go in here and summon 
exocraft in the form of the Minotaur. There we go. Let's install the next piece, which is you. Uh, we got the Pugnium, but we need that hydraulic wiring again, which means we need two more of these. And then the hydraulic wiring. And mining laser. Okay. Check it out real quick. Uh, switch with G. Is it not installed? Interesting. But the laser doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Tempting to switch over, but it's not doing it for some reason. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, not sure what happened there. Let's get to our sentry, which I'm assuming is what we need to do here. Ah, the Sizzen Sentinel Hunt team has returned. Okay, and we can leave the exosuit here. We can summon it elsewhere. So let's go to our administration terminal at our settlement, which I'm guessing that's where we should have just went to begin with. There we go. Okay. A little more hydration, I think, is in order. skip that. Oh, while we're here. Should have done that when we got here. Uh, let's see. You know, we've got enough cargo space. Technology is getting to be a premium, so let's go ahead and put more technology in. There we go. Alright, and head over to the portal, and we'll head back to our settlement and I just literally had a ship fly through me. All right. Settlement. Let's see what happened to their journey. Let's see what happened on their mission that they did to the What we go monolith. That's right. Went to the monolith. So I'm curious to how that turned out. I really thought going to an abandoned place was not going to be a good idea, but Let's see what happens. There we go. Can never figure out where in the world my terminal is. It's over here. Okay. Let's take a look. Debrief. The citizens went seeking answers about the Sentinels have returned from their expedition. They report they found a Sentinel hard frame blueprint, but the atmosphere is subdued. Let's thank them. The citizens murmur their appreciation, but there are mutterings, swirling rumors about the water. 
The citizens are reluctant to speak further. They do not seem quite themselves. Should we release them, which is going to add the features Creeping Spreading Glass, or should we quarantine, which is going to add the feature Quarantined Explorers? Hmm. They're both green. That you can see there, so they're going to add a positive to the settlement. Strange as that sounds. I want to quarantine them because I think there's not quite something right about these guys. And we got the hard frame licks. Okay, good deal. Let's just see what happens in here. We're going to check the status. So you'll see that one of the red ones that were down here is now green. So what this does is it helps a little bit. But we're in major debt and we need to find ways to grow this settlement very, very soon. Love to have a, a building that we can build somewhere. But anyway. Okay, so we need to build a portion of our exosuit here. So, just want to show you something. You see, we're gonna, we can try to do it. But it's going to tell you you can't do it. So you still have to build your summoning station first. Which they'll allow you to do here. And then you can pull in your Minotaur. And now we can build. So we're going to build the legs, which is going to require Pugnium again. And a hard frame legs part, a hard frame engine. So you remember I kept held on to those just in case. There you go. And we'll put that over here with everything else. Now, I don't know if it'll let me switch over now. It's still not letting me switch to the mining laser. Okay. Probably because I had to purchase it from the space station or something like that. Or from the anomaly, I should say. Okay. That's my guess. That's interesting. The two of them are talking to each other. Hmm. Alright, so what do we do? I bet you anything is going to tell us that we need to pick this up. That was it. So we talked to our guy named Laylaps, the sentry. I am thinking about names, Telemon, non, not Telemon. Places have names, people have names, even clothing. But I do not possess a name. Why? So you notice I'm changing the voice a little bit because he's starting to get a personality. Uh, let's say, say they are a drone, say they do not need one, say you do not know. Say they are a drone. Once maybe I was a drone, but not now. I know, I will give myself a name. I will call myself Laylaps. That is a good name, is it not? Say hello to Laylaps. Lights flash within Laylaps' carapace. They are delighted to hear their name. Your Minotaur friend needs a mind before it can flourish. I can help. I can help. I see the big walkers. I see where they walk. Obtain the brain of a walker. Bring it to your anomaly. Bring it to the Tethys not Telemann. Except direction of the walkers. But I do not want to die Telemann not Telemann. I can help. Lands, blueprints, upgrades, technology. My gift to you. Except the blueprints. We are doing so well. So we have the paralysis mortar. Hmm. Don't we already have one of those? Really? Okay, oh, a pristine walker brain. Alright, looks like we're going to be fighting. Whether we like it or not. So, hey, what a way to end this episode, right? With a nice, uh, special fight. How far away? Um, won't give me the direction. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just said off-planet, didn't it? Yeah, okay. Where's my ship? My kingdom for a ship. And we're off. There we go. On our way. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and I was... Just about thinking of closing down the episode, but let's go ahead and finish it off with a flourish. With a little bit of a fight going on, and then we'll go ahead and get her done. 
and then we can complete this in a further episode. So maybe there might be an extra episode in here for us after all for the regular playthrough. We will see what happens. Again, a little subdued today just because I'm just getting over being sick and I'm a little congested and still have a little bit of a sinus headache going on, which I don't get headaches very often anymore, but one of those days. Ooh, stormy. It's approximate? Yeah, it is. I almost guarantee it's going to be a sentinel pillar. Oh, right here. It's a two-legged walker right by this thing. And if I remember correctly... All right, lay laps, you should probably go away. So we can do that here. See, gone. All right, ready? No, we're not gonna time it. Take out the legs. Reload. Take out the shields on the outside. See? And then you got access to the head. Reload. Take out the rest of the head. And you're done. Don't shoot the head completely. You want to access it. And you'll get your rare pristine brain. And then you can shoot it. And you'll get an extra walker brain. So go ahead and don't forget to do that. Very important. Okay. So we got it. We didn't have to go through a complete battle to do it. So, not bad. Uh, where are we here? Here we go. So now we have to head back. There we go. called it much of a battle. I really thought it was going to... I don't quite remember, but I really thought it was going to throw me through at a full battle here. So, very interesting. Now, that's weird. Where's it taking me? Oh, the anomaly. Da, 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 da. That's okay. It's right above our settlement, so this will be handy. Okay. Into the anomaly we go. And we're going to speak to Tethys. Okay. So we're about minute 18 into this right now. So I think... Uh, let's get done with Tethys and see how much further we have to go with this. If I have to go another 10 minutes, I will. Go. Still alive, I see. That is a good start. Tethys is doing their best to appear aloof and unconcerned, but it is clear to me that they are struggling to contain their excitement. Before I can reply, they explode with questions. Did it work, Traveler? Tell me. Did the drone live? Where has it led you? What have you learned? Say it's doing well. Excellent. We have done well, done well indeed. Oh, I do wish I could see it, but I cannot leave this anomaly, and this anomaly is the one place the drone can never be. Say the drone gave itself a name. Name? It gave itself a name? Hmm. That is unusual. That is beyond simple engineering. You should have looked more closely at those beads Polo gave you. That geck is always up to something. Reveal the pristine brain? I've seen a lot of these things in my lifetime, Traveler, but never one so beautiful. And you say our drone friend told you to bring it to me? Remarkable. So we want this to go in your Minotaur. I like how you think, Traveler. Bring the heavy armaments to the fight against the Sentinels. There's a few vulnerabilities in these things. I should... should be a simple enough job to bypass a few circuits. Yes. This won't take long. There. Done. I've done the hard part for you and rewired the brain. This schematic should take you through the rest of the process. Hard frame body. 
So we need the radiant brain, which should, we should be getting from him in a moment. We need antimatter and a life support gel. Okay, good. But Traveler, this brain, it won't be enough. It needs something else, something crimson. I don't... Well, look, you'll find out soon enough. The signature I've encoded in the brain will draw its attention. Head out into space. You'll know what to do. Well, that's cryptic. Fly well, Traveler. Oh, yeah, you gotta do it. Alrighty. Wonder where this is leading us. Off we go. Tethy spread the hack brain for disconnection. Fly into space to present the brain to the Crimson Void. Launch into space to begin the search. Alright. I'm guessing... Yeah, pull, to, pull strive it says. Okay. And you can see it's actually seeking. And... And there we go. And there she is. Ooh, ooh, creepy. The Atlas beacon drifts through space, impossibly silent, impossibly loud. I, it knows I am here. Present the hacked brain. Check it back up. This that's in endless reality. Existence is ceaseless. Existence is fragments. Existence is bonded. Ahead of us is endless communicate communion. Rare item found, radiant brain. Way to proceed. So I made contact, but I think if I shoot it, nothing happens. If anything, it would probably damage me. Okay. Uh, where to? Where to? Nice counter in the minute. Okay, good, good, got it. So let's head to Igarax Falls. Alright, good deal, good deal. Looks like we're coming to a close on this mission. A little discombobulated today, but hey, we're getting there. Alright. Let's bring it in. Oh, that's the place I was supposed to be building. I'll be. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, it's supplied that magnetized fire. I can get this thing completed. How long is it going to be? Uh, two hours. Okay. Good to know. All right, so next time we do another recording, it should be done. Uh, so first thing I want to do, not yet, bring our buddy back alive again. And we need to bring in our, I wonder, do I already have it? Yeah, I do, okay. All right, it's all set. Let's get the brain. So we have a radiant brain. We have the life support gel. We need antimatter. Let's just build that real quick. There we go. And we're done. And that should give it the AI, I think. Nope, not quite ready. Not quite ready. We probably have to pick up... Oh, yes it does. There you go. So anywhere you go, it follows. If I go this way, it will turn around. There we go. See? Now it's my own two-legged walker that will follow me around and do my bidding. Is that awesome? So if we get into a sentinel battle, this guy will follow around and fight with me. That is actually pretty cool. So if you get nervous about sentinel battles and you can go through this particular trace of the metals, you will get your own sentinel artery body. So it's it's really cool. Let me see if I can find my um, summon summon station, summoning station. I 
don't know where it's like, I don't remember where I put it. There we go. Okay, and now we can talk to our sentinel. Lay laps. Where'd you go, lay laps? Where'd he go? Is he right, right above my head or something? Oh, there he is. Laylaps is delighted by the transformation of the Minotaur. There! Minotaur is not a robot machine anymore. It is friend. Or not friend. They can choose. I am so glad you agreed to help. Telemon, not Telemon. Oh, you agreed to help Telemon, not Telemon. Ask who Telemon is. Laylaps is amused at my concern. Of course, you do not know, do you? Well, it does not matter. I am glad we are friends. Lights chitter again within Laylap's shell, a hesitating, halting pattern. They appear to be considering something of importance. I will prove we are friends. Erase me from the pillar records. Attack the hive. Attack the sentinels with my blessing. We are a team. Wonderful. Okay, so we have to attack a hive. I think we might have enough time, so to speak. And off planet again. Okay, so let's head to the ship, and we will have to bring in our Minotaur when we get there. So, a little bit over, I know. We're hitting an hour and a half very soon here, and... Nope. Rejected it last time, I don't know why. Okay, fungal mold, activated copper, ammonium, silver, it's corrosive, okay. So hopefully this is not the planet we just shut down the sentinels on. Because if it is, we're going to have to reload. I'll pause you off of that, so. Because they will be disabled usually for a couple of hours. Down we go, let's see what we got. And another storm, apparently. That's what we got. So we're looking for another sentinel pillar. Ooh, storm crystals are here, huh? That's good to know. Very good to know. Well, there's a unknown building here. Oh, no, that's the building we're looking for. Oh, looks like we got Sentinel down there, so we're good. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, let's get our life support up to snuff. Okay. Pulse spitter's up and active. And let's put the summoning station here. And there is my Minotaur. As soon as I got that, the Minotaur showed up. So watch what happens here. You can see he's following, but he's also fighting for me. I'm going to watch this just for a second. See? So I need to get some upgrades from the space station to get this guy up to snuff, because he can't fight right now. So there's that. But I'm going to just take these guys out myself, and then I'm going to shut them all down. Okay. That. All three of them? Nope. Okay. Auto lockdown. Well, apparently we can't. 
Terminal now open. Okay, so I had to get rid of everybody first. Uh, once again, I find myself at a terminal to the Sentinel's glassy archive. Once again, I am passive in the face of this hostile interface. Laylapse has requested a total severance. I will make it so. Form network severance, severance packet broadcast, free remote response confirmed. Lots of exclamation points. Entity erased. As Laylapse severs himself completely from the hive mind, I see flashes of light, images of a world where everything is like glass, and I finally understand. This is my fate, the inevitable after. It's just an archive, the completion of data. Pillar control nodes operational, boundary node archive, rogue imposter, purge from the archive. And we're done. We're done. So the sentry wish has been granted. Let's talk to our, to Mr. Laylaps over here and see how this ended. This does not have to be des your destiny anymore, Telamon, not Telamon. It doesn't have to be the end. It won't be. We have died once. We won't die again. We will have such fun. We will save the worlds. Our chance of failure is practically null. How interesting you use the word null, huh? I agree. I knew we would do it. We have all done so well. And so a trace of metal has been completed. And that is the end of that. So, very good. Don't forget to always pick up your Exocraft uh, transmit station. Because you will need it until you can get two things on your freighter. Until you can get a summoning station on your freighter. And you can get the long distance uh, teleport technology on your freighter as well. That way, no matter where your freighter is, you can, you can always, tele you can always uh, transfer stuff back and forth, even if it's in another solar system. That includes landing those guys, the Exocrafts, where they belong. So, just a little tidbit if you're wondering about the Exocraft, by the way, because he's now inside of a cave somehow. Come on, buddy. All right, let's go down into the cave. He's stuck in here anyway. So if you're wondering about this, just a little tidbit of information for the for this guy. You can go in here and you can store the technology. So if you take it out and you just store it down here, he shuts down. And he won't follow you anymore. So you can leave him on your planet and everything like that. And anytime you need to re re-enable him, like I can get in and out of him anytime, including when he's in an AI mode, you just reinstall the unit. That's all. And you can keep it in the cargo portion of your Minotaur. And you're all set. Pretty neat, huh? Then you can change the colors on your Minotaur at some point or another as well. So, anywho, that's it in a nutshell. Um, we're going to go ahead and get out of this cave real quick. And I'll get back to my ship. And we'll call this particular mission complete. Yeah, it looks like we already grabbed our station. So we're all set. Back to the ship. Alrighty, and want to thank you all for watching. So again, like I said, I'm sorry it went over quite a bit here, but we did finish out Trace of Metal. We did finish out our computer archives. If we take a look at our uh, things here, even though computer archives still shows, we can check it one more time in the next episode, but you'll see that it always remained at 98, 99%, and you'll just be jumping from place to place. Now, you've also started up a mission line that you don't see in here under secondary missions, and that's every one of these hives that you go to has a story to tell. So check the log. It'll tell you a little more of the story. Go to the next hive at some other point. Check the story. Keep checking it. Keep checking it. Keep checking it. I can't remember how many times you have to go through. It must be about 20 different hive locations. But once you get to the end of the storyline, you'll learn something new for every single progression. So if you can do it all in one run, that way you kind of remember what happened on the last one, uh, you will get an achievement, including a new title. I, I honestly don't remember what title it is. Uh, hive Archivist or something like that. Something along those lines in regards to the Hive. But it, it gets you one of those titles I was showing you uh, in, a, in a different episode. So there's always stories to be told. Um, every single monolith, when you study the monolith and you go through the storyline on the monolith, you're actually achieving another goal in the whole scheme of No Man's Sky, which again gives you more titles as you learn more of the stories. For each one of the races, for the Gek, for the Corvax, for the Viking, as well as for the merchants and everybody else. So 
something you can keep an eye on. Again, it's up to you if that's what you wish to do. No Man's Sky is what you make of it. So if you love the exploration, great. If you just want to do the combat, feel free. If you're looking just to discover new things, by all means. Um, but you know what makes it all very, very important and very, very uh, worth our while is the community itself. It's you people who watch these videos. It's you people who make your own videos as well. It's the people who play, the people who comment, the things that you add and contribute to the community as a whole. And you'll find that the community is quite something. It's uh, different from most every other game I've ever played, and the community is really, really tight-knit. Really appreciate everybody that's out there. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing, by the way. Um, I think at the last check, I was somewhere in the neighborhood of, I believe, as of this recording that I'm doing right now, which by the time you get to this video, it's going to be like weeks later. Uh, but it is today is the 4th of February, and literally I am at uh, 268 subscribers right now, which I'm very, very glad for, and I'm very, very happy for everybody that uh, has contributed. Um, I've got a couple comments i got to get to in order to reply to later, uh, but again, I love the comments. Even if it's just, hey, thanks for the you know video, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, if you've got a question, if you see something wrong, as someone saw in one of my short videos, that the advertising that's supposed to be on there, the subscription emblem and the, the video that's supposed to be advertising on there was not showing on the shorts, even though YouTube said it would, uh, I had to make some adjustments to things. So that kind of communication is necessary. I don't always go back and watch my own movies or, or videos or anything like that. Uh, matter of fact, I try not to. I don't know what it is, but now I kind of understand why a lot of movie stars don't do that. Uh, so if you see some of the famous movie stars, you ask them, hey, what did you think of the movie when you went back and watched it? Nah, I didn't see it. I don't watch my own movies. It's an uncomfortable feeling to watch yourself on video or to listen to yourself on video. I don't know why. Uh, but I feel uncomfortable as well. But anyway, I'm glad you all have enjoyed this. Uh, again, feel free to leave comments, and I'll be glad to respond as soon as I can. Thank you very, very much. And uh, as I always say at the end of most of my videos, uh, kindness is, is a really important thing in society today. The more and more you see the news, the more things you see in society, really try to be kind in all things that you can do and never criticize a person who's kind to you. Uh, and more importantly, always be truthful in all things that you do, especially to yourself, because that's where it starts. I want to thank everybody for watching, and again, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, folks.